Welcome back to Young Crazy, everyone. Today we will be recapping the WVU versus Oklahoma game. Let's get into it. Well, what do you think? What What do you think going into the game? First of all, what were our chances in, in your mind, and, and were you excited? Were you nervous? Like, tell us a little bit about your thoughts. Um, I was excited for game day as usual. Um. I feel like we had a chance, even though, like, we were favored to lose by, what, 17? Mm -hmm. And I still felt like the WV versus Oklahoma rivalry, like, in the Big 12 is definitely a big one. So I feel like we could have pulled out a win going into it. And Okay. So at halftime, we're playing pretty well. What are your thoughts there? Um, Halftime, I was definitely happy. We made some good catches. Going downfield, um, um, Letty Brown actually didn't do like he couldn't get past the Oklahoma defensive line much either. So we had to rely on Jared Daigie and our receivers. Okay, what do you think about Garrett Green coming in? Um, so I felt like he didn't really need to come in this game much because I feel like Daigie was hitting his passes doing everything he could, but um, there was one play that really stood out to me. It was, so the two linebackers of Oklahoma, the ones that played in the middle, so basically they brought we brought Garrett Green in, and so basically they thought we were, Garrett Green was going to run it, and they actually gave it to Letty. He got a lot of yards to that. So if we could be able to like fake the defense out with Garrett Green in there and just hand it off, that would be a good play. And of course, Garrett's touchdown with the fake handoff with him being able to run around. What'd you think of that? Um, it was really good. He was really excited. His first one of his first touchdowns in like a major game, not versus Long Island. <laughs> so, um, yeah. All right. Um, we made some mistakes. We got in some trouble. Um, what were you feeling when we had the bad snap that um, forced us to third and forever? <laughs> um, I was not excited, and that was back to back um, misplays by the center too, because it was the neutral zone infraction and then the bad snap. Um, but yeah, I didn't feel the best. I definitely didn't think we were gonna get that third in like what, like twenty seven. Uh, it was thirty three plus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even more. Okay. And so we punt the ball. Our defense is playing well. Do you still think we have a chance to win? What are what are your thoughts and feelings there? Um, I did actually, because our defense has been playing great all night, and yeah, I thought we had a chance there. Okay. So we didn't come through. How do you feel when you see that they kick a field goal and win the game at the end? Um, I was kind of sad that they, first they brought it down to a field goal, which I'm like, oh, come on. Like, a field goals are so, like, oh, I hate that the game stand on them. I don't know. There's just something about it. Yeah. All right. Dive more into that. What, what, what makes you feel like when the games come down to field goal? Um, I just feel like field goals, like, you make a lot of them that you – kick and I feel like it's just a boring way out of the game like it's just like you don't get a really good pass in the end zone Pat McAfee if you're listening I apologize for his for the brand he is clearly against the brand um and does not support kicking um I thought it maybe made you feel a little bit more anxious but you're saying you just don't like it because you think it's taking the easy way out yeah <laughs> I mean like I, it's an honest answer that's what we're here for I I, I appreciate that um, kickers might be mad at you, but um, I don't like field goals because just the anxiousness. Um, I remember being younger and just not being able to watch. Um, and in 1996, WBU was playing um, <clears throat> Miami, and Miami was ranked, I don't know if they were number one, if they were in top five. And my friend Travis and I, Roach, you know Roach, we were hanging over the wall with one leg because we thought we were going to win, um, and we couldn't get the kickoff for the punt. And I just couldn't watch it ever since that block punt, any kind of field goal, any kind of punt, it just stresses me out. And I try not to watch it when it comes down to game winning. Because uh, it is, and it's a lot of pressure on the kicker. I, I admire the kickers that can punch it through, even the guy for Oklahoma. I mean, that's a big kick. Um, but overall, what were your thoughts with the Mountaineers? Were you surprised? Did, you know, what, what were your, what's your take? I was definitely surprised how well we played. Because, like, I don't know, just like in the past couple of games, it was like, 
on and off. Like, maybe the offense was doing good one game and the defense was doing one the other. It was, like, always either offense or defense. But offense and defense for, for the Oklahoma game really stepped up as a team. Yeah, I mean, I was more encouraged by that loss than I was by the Virginia Tech win. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's hanging out with you more and trying to be more perspective. I wasn't very upset. I was pretty pleased the whole game. Um, I, of course, have some adult friends who, who were not taking it as well. Um, and that's kind of why we're here to, to discuss that and see how you handle it. So we lost a close one. Um, what's it like? How long does it hang with you? Um, how long do you let it go? What's... Um, doesn't hang with me too long, I feel like, because, like, I, if we get a loss, it's, like, pretty disappointing at the same time. And, like, I'm kind of mad, but then, like, a couple hours later, I'm, like, happy again. I'm, like, oh, I can just finish the rest of the day out. But, yeah. Okay. So you were able to stay up the entire game? Yes. What did you do? How did you watch the game? Um, like, so I was just sitting on the couch with my mom. My sister was playing Roblox somewhere. <laughs> of course. Um, All right. Any good snacks for the game? Um, so we had chips and queso. We had by the like beginning of the fourth quarter, I had some nachos, which were really good. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, moving on, homecoming, uh, Texas Tech. They got crushed by Texas. What are what are your thoughts going into the game? Um, I feel excited like always. Um, I think we're really gonna pull this one out. Um. Seeing Texas Tech like get destroyed by Texas made me feel really good because I was watching some of that game too, and it was not pretty. It was all they had some pick sixes, I think they had some fumbles. It was not good. Okay, well, that's a wrap here. You want to wrap it up for us? Yep. All right. Thanks for everybody for checking out Young Caridi, and uh, we'll see you all next week. All right. Bye.